Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody is well. As y'all know, this is your girl, Real. And we have a real sex talk on this bitch. So today, we're going to talk about, like, this, this is for my dudes, right? Okay, I guess girls. Yeah, girls, too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Thing for my dudes, though. Like, if you have a friend, like, you got a friend, who always bringing up or discussing like homosexual activity you know same sex shit you know they just constantly talking about shit like that or if it's not constant like it's just something that always seems to be a subject matter with these women trust and believe this person is by curious or gay they motherfucking self on the Lilo. You know what I'm saying? Um, they probably, if they're bi curious or they gay, if they constantly talking to you or bringing up tissue with homosexual activity. Now, people who does that, right, they trying to set your motherfucking ass up. And I don't know if you the type of motherfucker who, who done indulge in that type of sexual pleasures or whatnot or nah but let's just say for the for the sake of just saying you are you're not but you have this person who's always not so much gay shit and sucking dick this one been a gay situation for guys sucking dick and dude and fucking an ass and all this other kind of shit trust and believe that motherfucker trying to set you up the fuck believe that shit they trying to see where you at. I'm saying when y'all get along, you know what I'm saying? Trying to smooth you over, maybe even get you drunk, high, and shit like that. And try to smooth you over and fuck you, suck you, or make you suck them and fuck them. That's why you have to be, you know what? I just be saying, my, my son uh, brought this to my attention. Because he was saying something about, you know, somebody like boys, like they be talking about that, like gay shit. Like, me, he was watching something, it was like some gay. I was like, what the fuck is shit? I'm just saying that, Rob. I'm just like, what's up with that? He said, like, no, that's just how, you know, we, uh, like the kids now, they just joke like that. No. I said, anytime, if you let, if I'm just telling him as his mother, you let a, any dude motherfucking disrespect you as a man, uh, coming near your dick, talking about your dick. Wanna fuck this and, and suck that and all that shit. It, unless you about that motherfucking life, you don't you you stop that shit immediately. A real motherfucking man will stop that shit motherfucking immediately. So you just have to you have to watch out for motherfuckers who want some other shit. Oh, damn, who wants some? Um, you know they wanna. Talking that shit, trying to size you up, get you ready, get your ass toasted, and trying to see where you have. You come back with some little, little baby ass motherfucking answers, bitch. You, you, your ass gonna get fucked, dick suck, you gonna be dick sucking and fucking uh, yourself. So I'm just saying, just be aware of motherfuckers out there. Cause yo, let me check this shit out. Let me tell y'all my, hey hon, tell y'all my situation. I'm the one time. It was me and this female. We used to watch, we used to listen to this hip hop show, right? That came on during it, um, like at two o'clock in the morning. It went off at five o'clock, right? Just pure hip hop shit, like raw shit, shit you wouldn't hear on the radio. So that was going on. Like we either be in my apartment, hers, whatever. So this time we was in mine, and she was like, uh, she was like, um, you know, if I ever ate somebody pussy, do I do it real good? And leaned in towards me. Bitch, wait a minute. I ain't doing nothing. Like, I, but I was so stuck. Like, I just, like, like I just was, like, looking forward. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, and, and, the, and the situation got, uh, hey, good morning. Got squashed like that. And she never came at me like that. Again. Morning, morning. And, um, so I'm just saying, so, and then another situation, I think I told this story before, I remember one time I was out, right, with some, um, we were out at, at this party, and this guy, this one dude was fucked 
fucked up. And this dude who was supposed to be his friend uh, just was kept giving him drinks. I'm sitting back and I'm watching this motherfucker like, bitch, I see you. I know exactly what you're trying to do. So, sit back. He like, uh, feed his, feed his friend with some drinks. He was already fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, fucked up. Like, you know, like, squad bobbing and weaving type shit. And he, um, just kept feeding him drinks. I'm just looking at this motherfucker like, first of all, he was a dirty ass bitch. And he had like some dick sucking lips. Like he was gonna suck the shit out of his motherfucking dick. Motherfuckers, look, y'all gotta watch who y'all drink around, who you get like so fucked up. Who, you know what I'm saying? You can't be getting all fucked up around motherfuckers because people have other agendas and missions for your motherfucking ass. And be aware of people who's constantly giving you drinks and stuff like that. And also for my for my girls too. You know what I'm saying? There may be chicks who always talk about eating pussy or something. It's the same fucking scenario. Just different sexes. You know what I'm saying? Watch out for that. You know what I'm saying? And be mindful of the people that you have around you because everybody around you don't mean you no motherfucker. And with that being said, motherfuckers, y'all have a fantastic day. Uh, get up, get out, get something out this bitch. And speaking of get out, get out and get something, get that book, Quickie by Real. It's seven short erotic stories. It's an e-book form only. Uh, and, uh, you know, ladies, if you live in the New York tri-state area, I also have a service called Seductive Barbers around around sexuality. I teach visual civilization. We have real sex talk. And I, we put on our heels and I teach them erotic and sensual dance. So any of you ladies that's having a bachelorette party, girls night out event, birthday party, anything to that effect, holla at your girl. Let's get it popping. It's really cute. Make your event so much more sexier. Don't forget you also know that I'm also a designer and a stylist and all that good shit. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching all seven of you. You be frightened on the queen, but that's all right. It happens. I know, like, when you're a raw bitch, it's kind of hard for one. It takes, it takes a minute. Yeah, you know it's all good, though. But um, thank you for those that do watch. Please subscribe, click, like, share, blah, 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 all that shit. I would appreciate it. The support means everything. And um, let's keep this conversation going about sex and human sexual behavior. I was about to say, and the, <laughs> this is what everybody, and in the name we pray, amen. That's what I say every time I leave my house. Yeah, my pants. I got on some, they're going to get wet the ground as well. Anyway, oh shit, y'all can't walk and talk like this. I'll talk to y'all. Y'all have a great day. Later.